So it's a gaze devs here, and today we're giving gaze reasons why you should consider buying the Samsung Galaxy S23 5G in Q2 or 2023, even after the release of the A54. Yeah, so earlier this year when I made my full review of this phone, when it received Android 13, I talked about uh, my biggest scrape of it, with it uh, being the pricing. And right now the price of this phone has dropped, and that's going to be my first reason as, well as to why you guys should consider purchasing this phone. Yeah, the prices have dropped on it, and uh, you can easily get this for 380 or for like $380 for the 128 gig and uh, maybe around $400 for the 256. And, uh, that's reasonable pricing for what this phone offers, you know? And that's my first reason as to why you should consider getting this Samsung Galaxy S23 in Q2 of 2023. And I think the price now is the best time to get this phone. Yeah, when the prices have dropped and uh, yeah, it still has a lot of years in terms of, you know, software support and stuff like that. So yeah, it's still a very solid phone. And uh, on top of that, it's still the latest a 70 series phone there's not going to be an a74 and uh, that's another reason you know it's still the latest in the a70 series so you're not going to be like a model behind or anything like that and you still have a good maybe three years of software updates yeah so it's still a very solid phone to buy right now and uh i'm yet to get my hands on the a54 but uh i'm pretty sure it's not going to be far off if it's not better it's at least as good as a54 when it comes to performance you know if it's not better than it, it's going to be as good, at least at the bare minimum. Yeah, so even on the performance side, it's still very good. Yeah, and it's still the best in the mid ranges. Mid ranges that Samsung offers at the moment. Yeah. So, yeah, some of the other reasons that I would recommend this phone right now is the battery life. You know, I've been using it for a long time right now, like for four months. And uh, the battery life on this is really, really good. Yeah, you can easily leave. Like, I could leave work, you know, when I'm not using the phone a lot live up with 80 percent battery you know when it's on wi-fi and not using mobile data but yeah battery life on this really good i never really have to think i never even carry a charger or anything like that because i'm sure that this phone's battery life is gonna hold yeah it's really good when it comes to battery life and you also have decent charging speed 25 watts okay it's not <laughs> class leading anymore at all it's actually that means some tanks should improve on the next series but yeah it's not the slowest charging either yeah, so when it comes to the battery life, this one is still really solid and I would recommend it. Yeah, the other thing that I really love about this phone is are the, whatever the speakers on this. It has serious speakers and I think they're class leading when it comes to the mid-range segment. And that it would beat out even some flagships. I've said this in my full review and I'll say it again. Yeah, the speakers on this phone are some of the best you get on a phone. Yeah, really good speakers and I like that about it. The cameras are also decent. Yeah, they're still good. But um, you know, for the price that this phone came at, brand new i wouldn't recommend the cameras but given that now it's cheaper i think the cameras are acceptable it, take, it takes decent photos you know i'm not the person who takes a lot of photos outside of you know, recording videos and stuff like that for youtube i myself i don't take a lot of photos but uh, when i've needed to do so yeah this one has been reliable never let me down once yeah so the photos are also solid and as well as the video by the way the video is also good you know the microphones are very nice the reason to buy this one is uh, the software as i said earlier yeah, the software on this is still running Android 13, which is the latest, and uh, you are sure to get Android um, 14 and 15. Yeah, you can be sure you're going to get those. So, and that's a long time, you know, holding a phone for another two years. I don't think I'll be holding for that long, but yeah, for those who are planning to buy it and use it for a long time, that's another reason to purchase it right now. You know, you can still have a good three years in this one. Yeah, so the software is another reason, and then the water resistance. Which obviously is not unique to it. All the you know upper mid range phones from Samsung right now have water resistance, so yeah, that's not unique to it. But uh, it's good to know that you have it here as well. And uh, the performance on here is also solid, you know, for all the games I've needed to play, just play them fine, you know, not that the very best like frame rates or anything like that. But you know, this is still a mid range phone, much as it's uh, like upper mid range, it's still a mid range phone, so. Don't expect flagship performance. For those who really want to game, you'd be better off buying something like an old flagship. Yeah, the better processor, but uh, yeah, for simple, simple games, yeah, you're gonna be okay with this phone. And it uses Snapdragon 778G and uh, that's a solid processor. The only great part with this phone is a uh, video editing and that has, hasn't changed really. But yeah, I think most people don't really do video editing on their phone anyway, so. Those are my reasons as to why you should consider buying the Samsung Galaxy S73 5G. When I get my hands on the A54, I want to compare these two and uh, yeah, you guys should look out for that video. Thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.